Hi there, my name is Greg Miller and here we are at the Hyde Bar SE1 in London. Today we've teamed up with findanyfilm.com to talk about a classic whiskey based drink, the old fashioned. Now we've seen the old fashioned make a revival in recent years and I find that that's slightly to do with popular culture, TV, film, for example Mad Men where Don Draper's favourite drink is the old fashioned. We've seen that a lot in history as well through James Bond sipping his Vespa martinis to the girls in Sex and the City with their Cosmopolitans. But today we're focusing on the old fashioned. So what I'm going to start off with is the sugar cube. I'm going to soak the sugar cube in bitters. I'm using orange and Angostura. Angostura as the classic recipe states and orange which is going to go beautifully well with our orange twist that we're going to do for a garnish at the end. I'm going to muddle down all this sugar as sugar doesn't really like to dissolve into alcohol. So we're going to get that into as small granules as possible so that with that slight little bit of dilution we're going to put into our drink, that's going to come and open up into it. Get all that sugar and bitters in there. And add three little lumps of ice. Then for the key ingredient, our bourbon whiskey. I recommend you add your bourbon whiskey in three parts from a double measure. And the stirring begins. Now we want that as ice to rub against the sugar at the bottom of the glass in order just to really break that up. I find that in popular culture at the moment, I find a lot of things that are influencing in what we drink. A lot of customers that come into the bar talk about a film they saw, a TV show that they've seen. And that actually influences in what they drink on a day-to-day -day basis. As you can see, these ice are slowly diluting into the drink and releasing all those essential bitters that we want. Add our final touch of whiskey. A little touch more ice. And we come to our garnish. Now, as I said at the beginning, with those orange bitters, an orange peel is going to work beautifully. I'm just going to cut a thin slice of our peel and get those essential oils across the top of the drink. And then we're going to remove the pith. We're going to remove this pith so we don't get any bitterness or ex extra bitterness into our drink. Make it look nice and pretty. And garnish. Here we have our old fashioned. Why not check out findanyfilm.com for more film inspiration into your next drink?